Hey everybody, welcome to the KF Podcast YouTube edition here, Star Wars D23 News. Um, if you just stumbled across us here on YouTube, check us out over at kfpodcast.com with links to all of our stuff. Uh, we're also on all of your um, social media sites at The KF Podcast, Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. And we do our Week in Review and other audio shows over on uh, SoundCloud or Stitcher or Spotify or iTunes. Um, those come out every Friday. Today uh, we have um, this is me, Don, and Justin's here. Who? And Brock's here. Hi. Ken was here. He left, so he's not with us today. But coming out of last weekend with D twenty three, we wanted to do something Star Wars special for YouTube since we really haven't done anything Star Wars in a while. We've kind of shit all over Star Wars for a while. Yeah, because, I mean, Last Jedi was not good. Mm-hmm. And we liked Solo. We did, we, liked Solo. we did like Solo, but there really hasn't been much else in the Star Wars universe to focus on. Right. So, yeah. Right. So the first thing coming out is the is there was a trailer for The Rise of Skywalker. Which part of the trailer is just recapping old shit. Mm-hmm. Yes. The first minute, whole minute yeah. of the trailer. Yeah. Um, which I think is them just trying to say... This movie is the culmination of yeah. this entire... Notice there was no Last Jedi stuff in there. They showed the salt scene. Did they? Yeah, yeah. they did. You're right. But that's that's a cool scene. It is. Um, yeah. But yeah, not a whole lot from Last Jedi in there. It was all a dream. <laughs> it was all a dream. God, we can only hope. Um, and then the last, what, minute and a half was all new, new stuff. Showing Chewie and the gang and everyone and... Um, uh, some Knights of Ren type stuff. And Knights of Ren stuff. Kind of maybe potentially Dark Ray. Yeah, I didn't really get what that was. I like when she was standing in the woods and threw the lightsaber through the trees. That was neat. That, that was kind of cool. Well, and then you saw what she was throwing it at. It was the old um, training droid that Obi-Wan used with Luke on mm-hmm. uh, the Millennium Falcon. Yeah. Um, she looked kind of pissed off in that scene. She looks pissed off the whole entire trailer. Yeah, and there's a lot of speculation going around whether she's actually going to turn dark, whether it's a clone of her that's turning dark, yeah. whether it was just a vision that's her dark. With that, like, Swiss Army knife lightsaber. Uh, that meme is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> just all these things popping up. Because that's what it looked like. She was holding, like, two double blades. She looked like Shatterstar. Yeah. And, and then it, then it, was, it just rrr, flips around. It flips around, you know, I'm like... Now, that, that lightsaber has is canon. That's been in the, in the universe before. It's a canon? It's a canon, yes. Yeah, if you turn it sideways... Um, Shoots. <laughs> well, how's it, in, how's it canon? What's it been used for? It was used... It was in both Rebels and... Um, uh, I hate the shit that Rebels is canon. Well, but so is Clone Wars. Clone Wars, and it was in both Clone Wars and um, Rebels. Now, the thing about this saber that is freaking a lot of people out. I'm assuming it's just they, Disney or the the Lucas people did it on purpose. This lightsaber is is only been used by Jedi who have fallen. Yeah. So Pong Krell was a very like well-known Jedi before Order 66. He f- basically foresaw that the Jedi were going to lose, and so he turns. Um, and then the Inquisitor, the Grand Inquisitor, when he was a Temple Guard, the Temple Guards used the the flip double-bladed saber. The switchblade lightsaber. I think that's probably some kind of vision. I, I, I hope it is, because right now, I mean, other than... Pretty much every young Jedi having some darkness in them. I don't see motivation for her to turn dark. I hope she turns dark. But it's the story they've done so many exactly. times. Exactly. If she actually turns and then Kylo is the Skywalker that rises see, up. See, the problem I have with that is I I can't... I'm not going to be behind a Ben Solo redemption story. I'm just not going to be. After he killed his dad? After he killed Han Solo, he's dead to me. It was all part of his plan. <laughs> I don't care. It was a stupid ass plan. <laughs> Maybe he whispered to his ear, "You have to kill me." And yeah. I mean that. That's one of he the. He knew he was that's undercover. One of the theories. I don't care. It's a stupid theory. It's and better than having the whole Luke Skywalker thing regurgitated and done exactly the same what way. It, would you be upset if they do reveal that she's a Skywalker? I wouldn't care. Like, I just don't want her to be like, oh, am I going to turn bad the whole time? And then, oh, I'm going to be good and make the right decision, yeah. just like everybody else. Yeah. It's dumb. 
Turner Evil. Well, I mean, they've kind of done both of them. They you, have. you can see the I turned into dark. That's the Anakin route, or you mm-hmm. did a Luke route. You can either go two other routes. I wish they would have never even tempted that she's going to even go bad. Uh huh. And, and never even just let her be the hero. Just let her be the hero. I think she's going to be the hero, but I think it'd be a nice twist if she turned. I, I'm only going to be happy unless that her last name ends up being Skywalker. The, well, that's not. I, there's no way that happens at this point. Then why is it called the Rise of Skywalker? Because of Ben. Ben Solo. You think he's going to have a redemption become? And it, it either that or he game. wins in yeah. evil triumphs and it's the Rise of Skywalker. That, can you imagine the ultimate twist with this nine film <laughs> yeah. saga? Well, that's the bad how, guy ends up winning. That's how George Lucas wanted to end the original trilogy and Fox said no. They made him change it. What did Luke turn bad and everything? Uh-huh. And killed the Emperor and took over the, the Empire. Yeah. That was the original ending from what wow. many people have said. But it's supposed to be Revenge of the Jedi, and they changed it to Return of the Jedi and turned it into this happy ending. I remember that it was Revenge of the Jedi. I just don't remember why. Yeah, I mean, everybody's going to want the positive, good arc Not ending. me. I wouldn't mind a middle ground ending where, like, she... Finally, like, they do put to bed the whole Jedi Sith thing, and she's, like, the gray. Mm-hmm. And where she can be a normal person, but still do good, but still have yeah, some bad still thoughts. still have bad thoughts, still want revenge, still, still want love. Yeah, still want love, all that stuff. Yeah, you the don't whole... have to be as extreme like those nights. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, and she has a gray lightsaber. <laughs> she has one that's red and blue. Yeah, it's both. It's purple. Yeah, she flips around. And it, <laughs> no, it has, Mace Windu's got the purple. It has the purple end and a blue end. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's what they're they're tricking you in that scene. Yeah, when she turns the other one on, it's blue. When she flips around, I got around. both. Ha-ha. I got both, bitches. I do good things with this side and bad things with this <laughs> side. Or, or, <laughs> yeah, I'll kill you with this one, save a kitten with the other one. <laughs> or it could be red and green, and she'll just look like Christmas holiday yeah. lights flipping around. It does come out at Christmas. There you go. All right, so you had the rise of Skywalker, and yeah, you know, I'm yeah, still. It did not... get me excited. Yeah, it's fine. After the the stinker that was the Last Jedi, yeah, it's, it did. And J.J. Abrams, I don't know about excited. It got me peaked that I'm like, yeah, okay, we'll go see Star Wars. You know, I wasn't like, oh, after yeah, like that I trailer, like that yeah, I wasn't over. like that either. And at at this point for Star Wars, and me, me that 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 bugs me. Like, I want to be end game. You want to be hard. You want to get hard. I want to be know. end game yeah. excited about Star Wars. You're but not. I don't know, now, listen. a trailer that got me excited, speaking of Disney+, Plus, is I absolutely love the Mandalorian trailer. That series looks amazing. This just proves what I've been saying all along. You don't need Boba Fett. People who get so excited over Boba Fett... What if it ends up being Boba Fett? That's what I was just going to say. <laughs> no, it's not Boba Fett, because it takes place later, way later on. He would be so old. Isn't it before... No, this time frame, because they released a, a, a Disney time frame. Oh, okay, which we'll, I should look at that picture. This takes place after Jedi. So this one takes place... Um, let me bring up The Mandalorian. You're, 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 you don't think that I'm right on this one, do you? No, I know. I think you are. I was, I'm trying to figure out... See, I didn't see this timeline thing. I, I, saw, going... the, I saw the timeline, and it did explain a lot. Okay. The Mandalorian comes right in... Um, Oh, where is this at? No, okay, this is before Jedi. No, no, no okay, wait, no. no all right, so in, all right. In Empire Florida. Strikes Back. They have they have the picture goofy. Empire Strikes Back. Then Return of the Jedi. Then you have one. There's one click between Empire and Jedi, and then between this, there's one, two, three, four, five, six clicks. So however long one of these clicks is, it's a while after Jedi, and so it's well, where way is- it's way before. The Force uh, Awakens. Then why would he be too old? He would be Luke and Leia's age. No, he'd be a little older than them. He'd be, he'd older be like eight them. years older. Eight than them. years older than yeah, than like Luke and Leia. I don't know. I guess it could be Boba Fett then, but I don't think it. I don't really think it is. I think they'd say it's because Boba Fett. if they would have said that it's Boba, yeah, they would just they call it Boba cap- Fett then. They would have capitalized on that. And yeah, you're right. I, I don't. It would be funny if they did. Yeah. He's got the color scheme and everything. Like, well, it's Mandalorian armor. Mandalorian armor is all people really think is cool. Yeah, everyone thinks Boba Fett's so cool. He had two lines. He didn't even have a line. He had like one or two lines. He's not that cool. It's just the armor. The armor's no good looks to cool. be dead. Well, 
I'm just tired of, like, the whole Mandalorian lore is, like, they were this undefeatable army. But yeah. now, in, like, mainstream Star Wars, they're just bounty hunters. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because most of them were dead. True. But he looks like such a badass in this trailer, all everything that he's doing. So, in this trailer... He's played this... by, um... The Nascar pa- Pascal, uh, the guy that's in Wonder Woman 2 that I thought was going to be Dr. Fate. Oh, yeah. Pascal, the, the, whatever. The Viper. The, yeah, that guy. Yeah, from Game of Thrones. Yeah, okay. He's a good actor. Yeah, he's a real good actor. Um, ton of good actors. Ton of good cast. Yeah, that's a yeah. good cast of Mandalorian. There's a lot of good people mm-hmm. in there. Ridiculous. Um, who's the, the old guy at the very end um, who always plays a creepy, like, villain type guy? Um, you should have the cast list. Though. I should. should. I can't remember, though. But anyway, he's Werner, Werner Herzog, I think is his name. Um, that guy is amazing. And uh, it's just, it's going to be a really good show. Well, I, I, watched some right of the, I watched some of the making of it. They did a, lot, a ton of practical effects. Nice. Um, so, like, the one scene in the trailer where the ship is flying through and it's doing all those turns, that was practical. Good, good. They, they did yeah, that Warren, with Warner Mom. Herzog, that guy. Nick Nolte's in it, which yeah. I think is funny. Gina Carano, who I really like. Yeah. She's going to be in it. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of good people in it. IG-11, voiced by Taikai Waititi. <laughs> Carl right. Weathers is in it. Yeah. yeah they showed him at the very beginning. Yeah, he's uh, in the beginning of it. It's great. I, it looks great. I love Mandalorian stuff. I love when Clone Wars... Did the whole Mandalorian? They spared no expense for this trailer, at least. Yeah, I mean, they it did looks it. just as. I bet you what they did was they. This is gonna. This was a, probably a planned trilogy, and they just broke it up into hour-long episodes, like for yep. a television season. Like you think it was supposed to be some sort of uh, movie? Yeah, and they're like, well, let's just do it this way. Yeah, I'm gonna put the timeline on the speed it up a little bit. Big you know, screen here so you can see. It could be Boba Fett's kid. Did Boba Fett have a kid? I don't know. I don't think it was ever... I don't think they ever discussed it. And then they call him something other Fett. But anyway, Mandalorian looks good. I think we're all excited for it. Um, really excited for Obi-Wan, the Obi-Wan series. Yeah. Um, I'm still curious. It's taking place just a little bit after the Solo. You see it on um, there. So I'm still a little curious. Uh, as Obi-Wan's the, right here at... right. Uh, Solo takes place to have it in two parts. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Because it was like years later. Yeah. Or so it's in between. It's in between there. Okay. After episode three. So this but came directly never, from Disney? But they never interacted. This is from Disney. Yeah. No, they didn't. They never interacted until he and Luke found him at yeah, Mos Eisley. So. Um, now, I know that, that Rebels is canon, and they already did the whole Darth Maul thing in Rebels and all that. But I think you throw that out the window and you have Darth Maul in this in this show. You're not going to use Darth Maul in Rogue One or, or in uh, Solo now. But remember he was in there and they were yeah. doing all that stuff with him? Don't waste that character. Have him and Obi-Wan well, be rivals in this stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think you could. I, I definitely... I don't think there's... He had robot legs at the end of Solo. Yeah. So, so do there's, no, le- there's no problem with him in... With him um, in in Obi Wan meeting up because Obi Wan doesn't kill him until Rebels, so you or could, Rebels comes Rebels is aft is quite a ways after it's split in two as well. It's split in two as well. Yeah, too. yeah. But like, so you have the first <laughs> time or the you know Obi Wan and Maul meet up again during his series at yeah. some point, and then he finally takes him out during Rebels. Yeah, we probably didn't hear any of that. Yeah, he, it's fine. <laughs> got it. I would like that. You got to use Darth. To me, you got to use Darth Maul. He's a it's a he, no brainer. He, he he's the only aside, thing good from that that yeah, prequel. <laughs> aside from from Darth Vader, he is probably the coolest villain yeah. in this entire universe. People will will shit their pants if he shows up and he's robot legs and doing the whole thing. And it'd be great. Yeah, I mean, because the rest of it, I don't know what else you do. Like, I think kind of it might be a little boring. He's just keeping an eye on Luke. It's just him. Because like we said when we were talking before, is he using a lightsaber? Or will people know that it's he's a Jedi if he's doing that? If he's just hanging out wherever he's at? Th- those tick marks can't be very much time. You don't think so? Because it, look, there, there's only like ten between episode one and three. Yeah. And so. that was like... Well, that was ten years. It was ten years. Yeah. yeah. So each one is a year. Because Anakin went from like being like ten to being like twenty. Mm-hmm. 
Um, so what's this Cassian Andor show? Cassian Andor is... He's a rebel spy. The guy from Rogue One. One of the guys from Rogue One. Um, that they're doing a, a, another... Which guy from Rogue One? Um, the pilot? Yeah. It's just before With he died. With K2SO. Yeah. Alright, so they're just doing a show about him before he gets killed. Yes. It's going to be like an espionage show, because wasn't he a, a rebel yeah, spy? Yeah, he was a... Yeah. And he has his big robot with him? I hope so. He'll probably get some during this. That would be cool. Yeah, and I'll watch that. What other kind of shows can they put on, on Disney Plus? There's so many different things that they they can have stuff that's completely unrelated to all of this stuff. Because yeah, this I mean, just follows can... one story. This is the Skywalker saga. Yeah, that's what they call it. Yeah. Um, I mean, they could go back. What is this Galaxy? What? That's Galaxy's the theme Edge. Park. That's the theme park. Oh, the theme park's a part of the timeline? Yep. Yeah. It's weird. Um, You're weird. You're weird. <laughs> I have a feeling that will that will um, uh, evolve though. Yeah. As the new movies come out, the themes at Galaxy's Edge will fade into the new movies and be tied more. Because look where it, the timeline it's, is right now. It's, it's just after Last Jedi. So it's just a park, and it's it's a theme, it's the theme park at Disney. No. Oh. Why is it on the timeline? Because it has a story. It, there's it. a story oh. with it. What is Star Wars Resistance? That's the cartoon? That's the new cartoon. Does anybody watch that? Um, I have not I yet. Okay. Um, it's Clone Wars is getting its season. That's coming to Disney Plus, too. But I think that's going back, and it's going to be, you know... It's, yeah, it's, they, it's the, they keep squeezing as much shit as they can in, in there, you know. Let's Where see. does the Ewok movie fit into this? I don't think it counts. <laughs> <laughs> um... There's actually somebody online was talking about that they're really, really hoping that the planet that Ray is throwing the lightsaber at the tree, that that is Endor. That they'll go back. <laughs> Make that mistake again. Do the friggin' Ewoks again. Hey! The Ewoks are noble people. Yeah, but they were kind of stupid. They were <laughs> Reminds me of Carl Pilkington. Teddy bears. <laughs> When he got him work, Davis, he's like, oh, it's okay for you to dress like a bear and <laughs> dance around. But it's like, there's a king here. And then one episode of Idiot Abroad where he went to that that uh, little people village or yeah. whatever, and he thought it was great, and he called Warwick Davis. He's like, that's terrible that you think that that's even, that, sh that should even exist, let alone think it's great. <laughs> he's like, all right, you get on your high horse, you dress as a bear and make millions of dollars. <laughs> Um, uh, but there's good. there's a lot of other stuff they could do. They could do stuff outside of this. They could do a yeah. series well, it seems about. Seems like they're hung up on this timeline right now. So yeah, until they had to put this out though to explain. You know, yeah, yeah explain where everything falls in. I'm glad they did because I didn't know any of this stuff. Yeah, but I mean, they could they could do something with. Um, that could totally be Boba Fett. Could be Boba Fett. I don't want Boba Fett. Though. I'd like somebody new. Do a new character. I we wish they. I wish they'd bring the dark saber in, but I don't think they will. Like they use in Clone Wars. Yeah. What was that guy's name? The that leader of the Mandalorians? Yeah. Oh, he had a cool name. Uh, Pre Vizsla. Yeah, Pre Vizsla. Pre Vizsla, yeah. He was the blonde hair. He was like the asshole leader of the Mandalorians. Isn't there a Mandalorian on, on Rebels too? that checks a Mandalorian? Yeah. yeah. Being red. Yeah. Everyone's a damn Mandalorian. All right. Well, interesting. A lot of cool stuff. A lot of stuff to look forward to. That that's the tra that was the trailer that got me excited the most as far as Star Wars goes. Was watching that. That was it, it was a cool. great it was Him, a great trailer. The gun scenes, the sh it's very gunslinger esque. And oh all yeah, that. yeah. You know that's cool. He looks now cool. my question in the cantina scene when he when he lassos the guy's foot, yeah, shoots the door and pulls the guy back in. Does the door cut that dude's head the off? The door cuts that guy in half. <laughs> right, <that's totally laughs> funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's totally what happens. Right? Cause he like shoots him, pulls it, and you just see the door going like this. Well, he shoots the door mechanism to shut the door yeah. while he's pulling him back. Yeah, I think that's a, I think that's a good murder scene. <laughs> I thought that too. I was kind of like, hey, shut yeah. up, that guy got killed. So hey, as yeah. long as they cut away, they can they they murdered people in Star Wars all along. Yeah, they cut hands off. They cut yeah, you know, they lost it's... a hand in just about every movie. Oh yeah, you always lose a hand. All right, well. It's cool. There's no blood that's instantly cauterized. It's true. It's why the lightsaber? We will probably. The Mandalorian comes out this fall. Except for that poor right, ass November. Face yes, guy that's in the bar. coming. 
Episode one will debut the day Disney Plus debuts. Awesome. Because you're not getting any of the Marvel Disney Plus till next year. Yeah. Okay. It looks like this Mandalorian might be in the tank already and it's ready to go. Yeah. Oh, I know it is. They're already they're already starting to work on season two. Good. Yeah. <laughs> it's ready to go. I'm surprised Woody Harrelson isn't in it. I'm sorry, he doesn't find a way to worm his way into all these type of movies. He's too far ahead. Wasn't he in a Star Wars movie? He was in Solo. Solo. That's right. I hate Woody Harrelson. <laughs> <laughs> He's like way back there. He's way back there. And it's time. There'll be it. some surprises in this. There'll be some oh, yeah. up. Yeah, oh, I, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if the huts find their way. I mean, oh, they're yeah. they're dead, but like other huts. Job is dead. After yeah, Job is gone. But yeah, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if you get some other huts after this. Some cool stuff. A lot of references. All right. Well, we got a lot of ground to cover between oh, Mandalorian. Oh, that's prime and, time for cartoons and mm -hmm. Disney Plus series all, all in there. Look at all well, that stuff. Well, there's, there's rumors of, of like, a Knights of Ren show. Yeah. Um, to explain, like, how the rise of the Knights of Ren came. Yeah. Um, but apparently... They Justin, the Star Wars teat... Oh it's yeah! Just right for the look at all that time on that time, <laughs> just milking, milking, milking. Another show, another show, another show, another and this show. This is even show. like a third of the MCU stuff right here. Yeah, this is just the scratching the surface of a much larger galaxy. Yeah, that they could go off. You can get new timelines. Mm hmm. Lights of the Old Republic, all that stuff. Disney Plus, if it works, will be amazing because you're going to get such good quality yeah. stuff that all ties in together. Good stuff. All right. Well, there you go. Here's our Star Wars recap. Let us know what you think about all this stuff. And we'll probably talk about this a lot as it keeps going. Yep. yep. November. All right. Say good night, fellas. Later. Later. Later.